Have you ever been airbrushing and you accidentally drop your airbrush like and you pick it back up and start spraying again and you realize it ain't working as good as it did and you look the tip and realize your needle bent. Well that happens to me a couple times in the last couple months here. But I didn't drop it on my desk, I dropped it on the floor and bit my needle two times. So I will show you on how to fix it. But this is just a temporary fix. As you can see here, my airbrush needle is definitely hooked to one side. I just bought this needle two days ago. And I was airbrushing last night and dropped it. Bent the needle. And it was pretty late at night and this is I have a spare one also so and I realized like how you know how can I fix this needle you know if I didn't have an extra one so I'm going to show you how to fix this needle and how to straighten this needle back out this is a temporary fix just to get you through I wouldn't advise using it constantly but you can because it does straighten the back out pretty good so there's a couple different ways you can do this one way a scene that people use cardboard and they take the end of the needle here and angle it and kind of like like this kind of tip it up and they put their finger on the tip of the needle and apply a little pressure and twist the needle like spin the needle and drag back while you're twisting the needle and they say that works which I tried that I tested that method it does work but it takes a little while and here's a different method people say you can take two coins don't have to be quarters just two coins and put your airbrush needle in here and apply in here and apply pressure and apply pressure to the coins and spin the needle and pull it out like while you're spinning it okay which also does work but if your needle gets caught in one of these little crevices like that like with a stamp the coin stamped it would bend your needle that way so you're actually not fixing anything you're actually just bending your needle a different way so here's the method i found to work the best is if you have a one of these mats here a self-healing mat it's hard but but it still has a little give in it so take your needle Put it on the end of the mat here, like this. Apply pressure. Spin the needle and drag it across your mat. Like this. Angle it. Pick up one end and drag it while applying pressure. I don't know if you can see. Still bent, but it's getting straighter. Just keep doing that. Find the end that kind of find the end that kind of bends down. Put that face down and keep the spin it. Apply pressure. Don't apply too much pressure where it bends it more. Just apply enough. Like I don't know. I mean, just don't push down hard as you can. I guess I'm saying. And just keep rolling it. Keep spinning it. By pulling it I don't know if you can see that see if I can focus here it is straighten it out needs a little bit more that would be perfect. This is the quickest way I have found to do this. It is actually perfectly straight now. I wish I had a better camera so I could show the focus on it. I have twisted here.
That needle is straight. But if it ain't straight, you can just keep doing it. Like that. And it will straighten it out. Now I can put this back in the airbrush and it will work just as good as it once did. But like I said, the downside to this, if you barely touch this tip of this needle where it bent, it weakened the metal. So it will bend really easy now. So if you barely touch this with anything, it will bend easily. But if you're in the pinch, you can fix it just like this. I have done this several times. I thought I would make a video because how many people don't know that you can actually fix these and you get further airbrush in the back in their drawer or whatever and um, get mad for the night, you know. So this is a way to fix it temporary. I would advise buying a new needle or using it as long as it can last. But like I said, that is straight. Now I can put this right back in my airbrush. I know there's a little tricky getting on. Let me take the cap off. I hate this camera won't focus, but it is straight again. It ain't crooked, it ain't bent at all. That's how you can straighten it. All right, for demonstration purposes only, I have an old airbrush here. And say, yeah, let's do this on purpose. Boom. Well, no, the tip of my needle is bent. As you can see, this is an old needle, by the way. Okay, do not pull this needle through your airbrush. It will snag on every single, every silk gun through here. It will snag. So what you do is take the tip off, take this piece off. Take the nozzle off. Take the nozzle off. And pull the airbrush out this way. The needle, I mean, pull the needle out this way. That's how you get a bent needle out as well. But here, you can see this needle definitely bent. I'll show you once again before I go. This needle is definitely bent. Put your finger on it, twist, and pull on your cut mat. As you can see, it still is bent but just keep doing that a couple times the more bent your needle is the more you have to drag it on to keep doing this it is a lot better than it was it's still a little bent and just keep dragging it it'll straighten it out it will straighten it out. So that's how you fix it. Now you can get back to painting. That's all for this video. Just wanted to show you guys that. Thanks for watching. Also, thanks for, for everyone that subscribes. Have a good day.